Hello, my name is Stevie Martin with the VIA Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will show you how to configure the integrated lights out version 3, ILO3 interface on the HP DL360 G7 server. Avaya doesn't officially support the use of the ILO3 interface for remote access to the HP DL360 G7 server but it is used internally in labs at Avaya and it's popular among our customers. So this demonstration will show you how to set up the ILO3 interface. It is necessary to disable the HP ProLiance flash screen that comes up during reboot. This allows a better view of the boot process and it makes it easier to time the pressing of the F8 and F9 keys during setup of the ILO3 interface. You want to connect the KVM to the back of the server and reboot the server by power cycling it. When the HP ProLiant power and thermal calibration completes, you will be able to see the F9, F10, and F12 prompts. You want to press F9 to enter the BIOS of the graphical user interface. You will want to select Advanced Options from the menu. From that sub-menu, you will want to select Advanced System ROM Options. In this screen, you will select the Power On logo, which is the splash screen, and set it to Disabled. Then you will press Escape twice and then F10 to save and exit. Our next step is setting up the ILO3 IP address. The assumption here is we're still connected to the 360 by the KVM from the first part of this video when we should have disabled a splash screen. What we need to do is we need the PowerCycle server reboot it. When you see the prompt to press F8, note F8, not F9, press the F8 key to enter the ILO3 configuration utility. If you did not disable the splash screen, you will not see this prompt at this time. Once you're in the ILO3 configuration screen, press your right arrow key over to the network, select DNS, DHCP option. You want to press spacebar to turn DNHCP enable to off. You set the DNS host name, which in this case will be the host name of the ILO3 IP address. You save the changes by pressing F10. Use the arrow keys to return to network. Select your NIC and TCP IP options. Once you're in this screen, you'll enter your IP address, your subnet mask, and gateway IP information for ILO3 interface. And you'll save your changes by pressing F10. Select Exit under the File menu to exit and reset the ILO3 utility. Once you perform the reset, you can log into ILO3 utility from web browser using the IP address. Your default user ID is administrator and you'll be able to find a default password on the label at the top of the server. The next step is installing the ILO3 license key. A 60-day evaluation license key is available for download from the HP website for the ILO3 interface. Avaya does not test or support the license, but it is available. You will need to contact HP for additional details and other license configurations. Log into the ILO3 graphical user interface and log in using administrator and password. On the left hand side, select licensing, then under enter license activation key, enter the key that you have available. You click install, then select OK to accept the terms of the license agreement and you install the ILO3 license. Now that we can access the ILO3 utility using the web browser, we want to launch a remote console to access the server. On the left hand side, select Remote Console. This will bring up the integrated Remote Console screen where you have two options to launch the Remote Console window. The .NET option, which will allow you to record ILO3 session but also has additional software requirements, and the Java integrated Remote Console. If there is no operating system loaded on the server, you will see the server cycling in the Remote Console window trying to find an operating system to load. 
Note that depending on which version of the remote console you're using, there will be a different remote console interface presented, meaning that the menus are different. The screenshots in this demonstration are collected using the .NET version, which is on the left. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful to you. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor.